oret Izi tulwet Nagif kongoy E baba Laya araba Aram koret Izi tulwet Emite tengan get E baba Jemite tulwet nyo we had a successful meeting. It was a women-led assemblies. It brought women from different communities, uh, women from Ma communities, that is three communities from Ma, uh, which is Loliondo, Ngorongoro, and Simanjiro, who are our hosts. We also had communities from Uganda, that is Batwa and Penet. Uh, communities from Kenya were Iyaku, the Ogiek of Mount Elgon, Ogiek of Mau, the Sengwer, and aware all communities from Kenya. Yeah, first of all, it was uh, it's it was a, it's a very good thing because it assists communities to discuss issues together. Uh, there is a lot of issues that are similar. There is a lot of issues that are also have been handled by some communities and others are handling now. And the idea for the community assemblies is to come up with a shared future of how to address issues of similar indigenous people's communities. So uh, uh, if I, I can give just a briefly the, uh, the three-day program today, uh, the first day, uh, which is 17th of June, we are... We are having a session where women and men can share share ideas on, on land rights, on how they approach uh, conservation issues. And then tomorrow, that is uh, 18th of June, uh, the communities will be visiting uh, the village, le uh, village level to to practically see how the Oge community are conserving the environment and how, how they are applying their uh, community bylaws, which is a guiding principle in conservation here. And um, the third day, which is on 19th, uh, 19th of June, it will be coming up with a shared vision on from the communities from what will be discussed from day one and what is what will be learned from a uh, village visitation and actual uh, actual uh, conservation visitation. So the third day will will be coming with a shared vision, which hopefully will be presented in Kigali, July, where uh, it will be hosting uh, the APAC. APAC is African Protected. Um, uh, the Africa Protected Areas Congress and uh, we hope that we give our shared vision as indigenous communities how we want to be incorporated and how we preserve our communities since we believe we are the main conserv conservators of the environment. I've come to know that we the indigenous people are almost facing the same challenge more so on the land issue. We are just living like we are squatters on, on the world like we really don't have where to settle like we are not human beings. After that eviction, we had this, the church organized us and other NGOs in other districts. They had to begin buying some land, but life was not easy, as we are not used to working, digging. Now eating, you are to work. In the forest, everything was for free. Honey, hunting. So life became very difficult for us, but we had to get used to it. <laughs> I am a Patrick. I have to now see the night to make shift houses. Make shift houses. Need the number and number and number. Yeah, yeah. I am a man. I get your money. Raise your change. You know, six hours a man. Shoe le asiko. Most of the time le asiko. So I saw that when I chunga to my bio. I know when I go on your mama quartiago. Quartiago. The sister to nasa ma. My share me ko angumu. So to nasa ma. So what when you are not affect that side? Ni. Wa mama na watoto. Sababu we, mse unakimbia, unaona we maisha yako unakimbia. Sasa mwenye ataumia ni mama, chakula kuna, watoto haendi shule, eh ndi wana pepa msuko mingi kuluko, mtu papa. This indigenous community, they live with the animals. Like for example in our community, whereby we were evicted by Uganda Wildlife Authority, we, the moment we were evicted, the animals disappeared. As women, we realized that we are the custodians of these indigenous lands, protected forests together with the wildlife and the resources in our place. But after us recognizing that we are the custodians, the government officials are leasing the third parties, those are the investors, to the land that we have been protecting all years ago to the people and all the best things that we have protected all those years. It comes, the outcome is from the indigenous communities. It isn't from the government. It is the indigenous people 
who have been struggling to secure all the resources and the wildlife around the place. So as women, we demand that our constitutional rights to be respected because we are the most affected. Those who are declaring that they need to extend uh, conservation because the more you declare uh, uh, conservation, it means the indigenous people will be suffering, they will be affected, cultures will be lost. So actually we declare that uh, we are the best people to conserve these areas. They should have to understand that the indigenous people actually are the best conservators in this world. We are people who live by keeping animals. We, we have to protect the trees, protect even hives. We don't burn trees, we don't, have, we don't, we don't fell trees, we don't practice in timber splitting, we don't burn jaco because of that hospitality. Nature to us is part of us. So if you throw, destroy a tree, then it means you are destroying your life. The land is connected to our culture because of the, the climate. So my culture is so important to us for our education. The way we live, the way we, we walk, the way we dress, the way we talk is quite different from others. Maana ya sisi kutambua msitu sana. Waamini kwetu ukitoa mtu yetu hapa ni kama samaki umetoa kwa bahari. Maana ya kwanza ile tunaifadhi msitu tunapata hewa safi. Maana ya pili tunapata mfua. Mfua ikinyesha, nyasi ya ngombe inamea. So, sisi ni wafukaji. Kama wamama wa Chepkitale, tunahifadhi masingira yetu. Tunaenda miti ile, tukitaka kujenga manyumba zetu, tunaenda kwa miti ambaye ime kauka. Hatuwezi kuenda kwa miti ambaye ingali fresh. Kwa sababu hiyo, ndiyo ingali natushikilia kwa sababu ya mfua. Wakati tunaitaji pia kuni, tutaenda tutafuta yale kuni, yale miti, ya mekauka ambaye imeoza chini hatuwezi kupata ile kuni imesimama kwa sababu hiyo bado inatushikilia kwa masingira yetu huku ndani kupata mahospitali ni mbali kwa hivyo tuliweza kujifunza kwa wamama wa zamani waliweza kutuambia na wakatuonyesha madawa ambaye mamiti ambayo tunaweza kutoa dawa kwa hizo hiyo miti tunaifadhi saidi kwa sababu inatusaidia kwa dawa jamii haya ni jamii ya kiasili ambao wako na kalja yao wako na eh, knowledge ambao wa kuhifadhi hardi ama wako na njia mingi ya kuhifadhi misitu ama inji sao ingefaa serikali wa kujie wapate eh, chukumu lile ambalo ni akiasili wawese kuongezea jamii haya bila kudhulumu hao ama kuevict hao kwa sehemu zao uh, what I want to highlight actually about the protected areas uh, is actually one of the dangerous things in this world because when you increase the protected areas, it means you are displacing the life of indigenous people in this world. The more you increase, the more uh, lives of indigenous people uh, will suffer because actually the indigenous people are attached to their lands, their spirits are in their land, the sacrifices are in their land. So. When you say you want to increase, it means you are displacing, you know, the, the indigenous forest, it is a balance of nature. When you, you, you remove one item, because we have wild animals, we have the trees, we have the indigenous people. So when you remove one item, that uh, nature is not balanced. One will suffer. Come and do whatever you want to do, but don't touch the indigenous people. We came up with what we call the joint statement from the East Africa assemblies about what are we going to take to the meeting which they are going to held in Kigali and uh, the women as well as men came up with several issues. One of the issues is that the government should identify that the land which they are conserving belongs to the indigenous community and if they want they can conserve that land together with the indigenous community because they have the knowledge on how to conserve the land. And as we go to the upper in Kigali whereby the issues of uh, they call it in quotes conservation are being discussed or protected areas. Protected areas mostly are lands of indigenous peoples and to just put the context, only 0.5% of lands in Africa 
that are referred to as protected areas are the ones whereby communities are doing. So with the target that is being set of that by, by the year, I think 2030, we should have 30% uh, of the land under protected areas. If the same statistics are to go, that means that it will only be 5% of the total land mass would be areas that are protected by indigenous peoples. And what that means is that there is going to be a replication of Loliondo in many other countries in, and in many of other indigenous people's lands. The, the money that they are giving the government are the money that are, are killing us so much, the money that are using uh, to do a lot of injustices, uh, using actually to harass our people, evict our people, burn our houses. So with all them actually, you better take your money uh, to deserts because actually we have already, we have a very good forest. So why do you want to conserve what is already conserved? We have conserved our area. You just take your money to somewhere, someplace. I want to urge everyone that let's get involved uh, and stand together with the, the com with other communities like mine to ensure that we tackle deforestation and uh, through tackling the deforestation we can really manage to really uh, handle the issue that is coming which is the climate change here we need to continue to struggle as one co as one community that is as one indigenous community not as different communities because when we have one faces we know we will be able to uh, to get what we really want that is to obtain our ancestral land